case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a landmark case heard by the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals in 1998, the definition of occupant under the Make My Day law was challenged and clarified. Defendant Aubrey Ivan Anderson had been charged with murder and shooting with the intent to kill, a situation that provoked questions on the extent of acceptable self-defense methods, especially in the context of home invasion. From the beginning, the trial court rejected Anderson's plea to dismiss the information presented against him. As the trial progressed, an affirmative defense instruction was provided to the jury based on the controversial Make My Day law, which extends legal protection to individuals using force against intruders in their home. The state disagreed with this interpretation, asserting that this legal shield should only safeguard homeowners or legal residents. However, the jury sided with Anderson, finding him not guilty of all the charges laid against him. Dissatisfied with this outcome, the state decided to appeal. They contended that the Occupant Protection Clause should only apply to residents or homeowners, not guests like Anderson. In a definitive judgment, the appellate court held that the self-defense instruction called OGCR 2nd 815 was a faithful representation of the law in Section 1289.25. The court declined the state's request to include a reasonableness test, instead maintaining that the use of force was justified, even deadly force, against illegal intruders. This decision underscored the legislative intent of Oklahoma's statute to protect all lawful occupants in a dwelling, whether or not they are the legal residents. However, the court also emphasized that whether such force pardons occupants from potential legal repercussions should ultimately be a jury's decision. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class